I was young. You know, I felt like we were supposed to win, and I didn't realize that, you know, now I, looking back on it, I realize how tough it is and what a special teams that, we, you know, that we did have. Uh, you know, so anytime you're a part of a league and you can go undefeated in that league, uh, it says a lot about your program and what's going on. Adrian Wiggins was the head women's basketball coach at Fresno State from 2005 through 2012. During the 2009-2010 season, his Bulldogs went 16-0 in the Western Athletic Conference. The current Bulldogs are one win away from matching that this season in the Mountain West. As for Wiggins, for the past seven seasons, he's been the head boys basketball coach at Clovis East High School. The playoffs begin this week, meaning Wiggins doesn't know how many games he has left to coach his son. Adrian Wiggins has been a basketball coach since the mid-1990s. He's seen countless senior nights, but Wednesday was different. Wednesday was senior night for his son, Will. Yeah, I tell all the parents, just love them while you can. I remember walking up as a ninth grader and they announced him for homecoming king. And I was just so happy I caught that moment. You know, those are the, the perks about being here as a parent. Will Wiggins has been on varsity at Clovis East since he was a sophomore. So Adrian Wiggins has been both a parent and a coach for three years. I call him dad. It's, it's kind of weird like when I have to yell at him across the court, but I call him dad. I've called him that my whole life, and he's never really told me to call me coach, so I just say dad. He balances being uh, my dad and being my coach very well, and for most that's hard to do. Except Adrian Wiggins isn't like most coaches. He won 175 games at Fresno State second most in program history, and he took the Bulldogs to five straight NCAA tournaments. Will tagged along. Going in the locker rooms like at halftime and after the games and just hearing all their halftime talks and you know it was a really cool experience for me growing up. You know what I noticed as a coach is he's just not afraid of the big moments. You know he wants the ball in his hands. The bigger the arena the more you know excited he is and focused. Uh, he went on those trips with me. You know he went to the NCAA tournaments. He walked on those carpets. Uh, he saw all the cameras and uh, he likes it and it doesn't make him nervous. He's also not nervous about next year when he'll be playing someplace else and for a coach who's not his dad. I think it'll be a new experience, but I'm ready to see, uh, to venture off and see what new coaches can do for me and how they can expand my game. William's value is just his ability to run a team. He thrives in doing a lot of the little things. It's been a really special experience for me. One of a kind deal. I, I just been really blessed with being able to be here with him and go to school with him every day. And uh, he's been a really, really uh, not only a good kid but a, a fun guy to coach and a, a good leader. So uh, for me, it's been like a dream come true. When Adrian Wiggins was at Fresno State, he had an assistant coach named Amy Parrish, who had a sister, Madison, who was on the team for a few years. I asked Wiggins if there were any similarities between that dynamic and the one he currently has with Will. He compared Will to Madison, saying they're both smart and they're both coachable. Will Wiggins told me he will likely play at either Fresno City College or Reedley College next season. And by the way, Clovis East is the three seed in the D1 Valley playoffs and has a first round bye.